Welcome back to your Daily Dose. I'm your host, Alize, and this is the Daily Dose, where you already know we be doing the most. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. And subscribe to the channel. I kind of, I don't want to say I messed it up, but ooh, ooh, that was too light. Um, if you guys have any, like, personal, like, comments that you want to share with me and you don't want them in down below, just uh, e email me at alizamill6 at gmail.com. Instagram is alizamills.1. And Twitter is alize at, under, al at alize underscore uh, mills. And so let's go ahead and get into the video and let's talk about victim, victim mentality. Okay, so right now... Um, I want to say that I have my moment of being in my victim mentality. Um, first, we're going to talk about what the victim mentality is. Actually, that's why I have a computer because I don't know it by heart. But they say when you're in the victim mentality state, you're just putting yourself in a very, uh, I don't want to say vulnerable state, but you're putting yourself in a state of why is this happening to me and you know etc and stuff like that and the reason i wanted to talk about the victim mentality is because <sighs> you got to get out your head as terrible as that sounds <laughs> well it doesn't sound terrible but you guys get the point okay so the psychology is a person who recognizes or consider themselves a victim of the negative actions of others and to behave as if this were the case in the face of the contrary evidence of such circumstances. Okay, so victim mentality definition. Let's say when got down, uh, got down, got down. So yeah, like, okay, so the victim mentality, you're always playing victim and you're putting yourself in a position of always assuming that even though the actions and behaviors of others, you, they, you didn't do anything wrong when clearly you did and you have to hold yourself accountable. The reason I'm talking about this and the reason I wanted to make a video on the victim mentality is because yes, at this moment, and in the videos that I did make previously, I was very upset about everything that had happened, but I also have to think about what I did and what led up to that disaster. Now, that doesn't mean that, um, you know, that doesn't mean that I'm going to continue to accept that treatment, but I did come to a realization that I allowed this person to treat me the way that they treated me because I didn't know my self-worth and I was lacking that respect for myself. And I have this project that I'm working on that I'm not gonna say anything about on my channel, but it is a project that I've decided to work on. And, you know, I decided to do as many things as I can that is going to keep me from being anywhere near social media or anywhere near just being on my phone because right now I don't want to be bothered and it's not to turn myself against the world but I was in this state of feeling as if though I was getting ready to go to a place I was ready to meet this person and this individual I've done so much for for that person to tell me that they don't want me to come and for her to just you know do what she did but why do people do the things that they do if we allow these people to do these things exactly i just said it they do it because we allow them they do it because we don't know our worth they do it because there are no boundaries that are set in play now i can go on and on and i can feel the way that i'm feeling which i was feeling for the past few days i was feeling embarrassed i was feeling very sad and i was very upset and you know that individual didn't feel no type of remorse whatsoever and I can either sit there and ball up in tears and be in a puddle and cry, or I could take my power back and say, no, 
yeah, this may have happened, but this is not going to continue to happen because this is not my story and this is not the story that I am creating because I deserve better treatment this, than this because of who I am. This individual as well went to make fun of me for having herpes. You know, we both hurt each other. We both went to that point of where we ended up blocking each other. So now we are no longer in contact with one another. However, that is okay with me because I realized that I was afraid to lose this person and I allowed this person to treat me a certain kind of way and I'm accepting certain treatment because I just want to feel some, some type of affection even if that meant, oh yeah, you hanging up in my face and all this stuff, no. And, 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 and calling me out my name and calling me dumb and calling me, you know, uh, you know, making fun of my condition of having herpes and all these type of things. You know, this, this, this type of these are not this is not something where uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, OK, what this person is saying and what this girl has done is wrong. However, it, I have to hold myself accountable because what was I doing and what was I standing for? I wasn't standing for nothing. There were no boundaries. So when you're putting yourself in the victim mentality, that means you're going to be feeling sorry for yourself. So that's what I was doing this the past couple of days. I was feeling sorry for myself like boo hoo hoo, ooh me, this, that, and the third. This happens to me or why did this happen? And I was feeling all kinds of ways and then thinking to myself, what am I doing? I know that this may have happened. And I understand that this has been a pattern in my life because this isn't the first time people have called me ugly. This hasn't been the first time that people have mistreated me. My relationships are shitty. And the only reason is because I have a crappy ass relationship with myself. So in order for those relationships to get better, I have to build a better foundation with myself. And I'm not telling y'all it's going to be an easy road to just do it you know what we just gonna say it's gonna be an easy road to just do it because the thoughts create so when you're in a victim mentality then you are putting yourself in this uh this mindset of assuming that because all of these things have happened to you that okay this happened to me or my specific person is treating me this way or um you know i'm not i didn't get this or whatever the case may be you're putting yourself in a position of you are playing the victim and you're playing the victim because you're like you're trying to play it safe and you're trying to say boo hoo you but in reality you got to hold yourself accountable because whatever that person is doing is just a reflection of what you do to yourself and how you feel about yourself so it was an eye opener last night it was an eye opener and I was mad as hell but my, I always knew that my anger drove me because every time when uh, side note every time when something made me mad or made me upset I knew that my anger drove me like it drove me y'all like it just made me accomplish so much and I looked and I told myself I can accomplish so much without having this person in my life I can accomplish so much with just saying you know what I'm gonna let this go and I'm not even going to allow it to make me feel any kind of way. So I'm going to apply the law of detachment and just let it go. Because at this point, it's, Alizé, you got to work on some issues within yourself. You can't keep playing the victim all the time and saying, blaming those individuals. And I'm not saying it's different from self-internalizing what other people do. What this person did and what this girl has done, that does not excuse her actions. Because as an adult, she is still responsible and she should still be held accountable for what she did. However, I am held accountable because I was allowing it and I was noticing that, okay, I was accepting this. So don't accept it don't and don't keep putting yourself in this mentality of oh this happens to me and that's it get back up and that's what we're going to keep doing is getting back up if that means that we're going to keep uh uh, uh whatever it takes you know i'm going to get back into reading i'm going to get back into studying and understanding the law and really not just only looking at different YouTubers and, and talking to, mm, 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 mm. no baby. I'm gonna trust in myself and trust in the subconscious, my subconscious beliefs. And I'm going to say, I'm, re, I'm rewriting my story. 
so I decided to post this video because I want you guys to rewrite your story do not stay within this mentality of assuming that okay you're the victim because baby you're not and the only reason you're not the victim is because like I said in the last video when we don't want to change ain't nothing gonna change it first starts with us okay what would like Michael Jackson said man in the mirror I'm gonna make a change but you gotta look at yourself in the mirror first before you make a change you gotta change things within yourself and I just realized that as of last night we've all been there where we have been scared to lose somebody and I'm putting this out here because I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes when it comes to manifesting this is nothing but this should be fun manifesting should not be something that is hard and it shouldn't be something that is difficult it should be fun because what you're doing is you are elevating and you are learning yourself and you are becoming this amazing conscious creator yeah she dug deep she said a lot of things the girl even admitted to cheating on me while we were together so that alone was just me like what is the story that I have built up around relationships with people and intimate relationships with people or other people what is the story that I have created that has led me to this point oh I have some nice hands what is the point that I have led myself in into where I'm at now who am I so you get down to the root of it because the root is you. And yes, I have decided that there's a lot of things that I'm going to be working for and towards. And, you know, it's, am I hurt? I can't lie and tell you guys I'm not hurt. I'm hurt as hell. Honey, I am hurt. <laughs> I'm hurt. Yes. Because no, I don't deserve that. But I... I should have stopped it before it escalated to where it is now okay and I went to see uh, that person and I, I told her how I felt and I said what it was but I said my piece and I didn't say nothing you know disrespectful but I said you know what I can see why you did what you did and I can't even fault you for it if anything what's the point of being angry for what I can't be angry with that person because I don't have a healthy relationship with myself. So what makes you think I'm going to have a healthy relationship with other people? Now, um, when, like I said, the reason I wanted to say and put what I was going through and what I'm going through now is because I wanted to tell you guys that I was in this victim state for a very long time and just been, you know, feeling sorry for myself for the past few days. And honestly, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it to feel sorry for yourself. It's not worth it to, you know, just mope and do all this different stuff. So I'm going to get lost in things that make me happy. And I'm just going to take a break from talking to people for a while. And the reason is because I'm not trying to run away from the world. But I'm going to give myself a chance and see what I can do with myself. And how I can do things to make myself happy. Because... I've never just been happy with being by myself or doing things by myself and having a schedule for myself. You feel me? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and like I said, I'm going to keep posting videos and we're going to be talking about other stuff regarding uh, the law of detachment, how it is applied, what are the ways to utilize the law of detachment. Um, we're going to also be talking about uh, self-conception we're gonna go back into that as well but we're also gonna be making a lot of videos and um, I'm probably gonna be doing like I said I gotta start over but that's okay I'm gonna start buying more things for this channel and I'm gonna start building out like my room where I'm at now and start um, really making this a whole you know get down you know I might start writing in markers and writing in markers uh having like boards and stuff like that and just writing down and markers and stuff like that uh and just explaining everything but really understanding the subconscious mind 
and really knowing the subconscious mind and you know I'm going to be applying this again in my everyday life starting right now so once I stop ending this video I'm going to go ahead and actually listen to a audio and I'm going to um start you know listening to Joe Dispenza and I'm just going to start my day off differently and I'm going to do that every single day and I'm going to continue to uh you know really put forth loving myself because right now that is where it's at okay don't stay in that victim mentality and if you were in no contact with your specific person it's not that big of a deal and they are not that important so i hope y'all enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and share baby and we just gonna keep going up from the daily dose because this channel is blowing up it's blowing up okay you heard your girl i love y'all peace